Hey everybody, Ben from Avid here, back at the BVE Show 2011. I've popped over to Route 6, an industry uh, reseller, and I'm joined by Chris. How are you doing, Chris? Uh, not bad, thanks. You? Excellent. Uh, Chris is working on Yukon Colour, but not with an Avid product. He's working on it with... Smoke for Mac. Excellent. So, of course, with the version 5.5 of Media Composer, now fully integrated uh, with Yukon. But let's have a look at colour and action, shall we, Chris, if you don't mind, uh, with Smoke. OK. I mean, obviously, this was originally designed for Apple colour. So the way it's been integrated into Smoke is, I think, it's a little bit kind of um, more involved. There seems to be more options that you can do with it, or with, with your audio automation as well. The way that, rather than using keyboard shortcuts, you can flick in and outside your different views in from full screen, um, when you're into your player, where you can jump into your vector scopes and into your audio tools, and then back again. Um, also, being able to go into full screen and being able to just resize, and this isn't actual an effect you're applying, it's actually just a resize for your full screen. Rather than giving it the control space bar and the wiggle, you can do this now with just one jog on the wheel. Also, this can also sort out your view, so um, to zoom in and out of the timeline and also as a shuttle wheel. So the way it's integrated at the moment is perfect. Access and into your, also into your colour correction which is the main reason for this panel. So I uh, just need to enable that. Might help. Um, and then we go to colour correction. So it's fair to say then that this has given you a lot more control. Yeah, exactly. I mean, smoke, obviously, there's, if you see the uh, amount of keyboard shortcuts you can have in smoke is ridiculous this makes it a lot easier to use a lot more user-friendly and the fact that you completely and utterly customize it for your feature set you can have 48 different feature sets for it it's just set up for you even with your shift buttons etc and in within different views so whether you're in audio whether you're in color correction whether in your sparks or whether you're just playing and navigating around the timeline brilliant Chris thank you very no much indeed see more openness from Avid and collaboration <laughs>